Wow, it's big. Really, really, really big. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Let's make it really quick. I got some news about that new possible studio. I told you there are like five things I have to check to, to really get it. And out of those five, four are now all done. The fire department stuff, the city council, the city usage type of studio thing. It's all cleared, insurance all done. The last thing that is missing is just negotiating one more round with the guys that will rent it out to me and then hopefully sign the contract. I hope this will happen this week. If not, next week I'm on vacations for three entire weeks and it will really literally kill me not knowing if I get that place or not. So wish me a whole lot of luck. I will keep you updated. They told me they will um, call me throughout this day, today, somehow, maybe. I don't know, they're not really the most reliable. But anyways, um, there is also another small problem I have here in the studio. To be more precise, actually in the room next to my studio, that's also one of the main reasons why I need a new studio, not only because Leonard usually sits with me in there and I can't make music when he's here. So those two days he's here are just business stuff and you know how much I love business stuff. But the situation in here is really ridiculous. I got a whole lot of boxes. A lot of stuff I, I haven't ordered. It seems like more and more companies just sent me stuff to try it out, test it and, and maybe recommend it to you. So let's just unbox all of those and make a little room there in that room that is actually my dad's where he stores his paintings. Let's start with the smallest one. That's a lot better. I know what this is. Yes. This got recommended to me by so many producers. Cool to get this. Thanks a lot to Sonar Works. If you don't know what it is, it's basically measuring your room and is then applying a correction to make the frequency response as flat as possible. It's like a digital correction and it, it really works. I had something similar by Iki Multimedia called ARC2. And yeah, it improves your room drastically. So definitely, definitely very useful for, for the new studio. Let's maybe check really quick what's inside. I won't have the time to fully test it. I also don't think it makes a lot of sense to measure this room since I'm hopefully leaving anyways. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it comes with a measure microphone. You put it here at your sweet spot. You then let a test signal run through your speakers, it picks it up, then it compares it to the actual initial signal and is applying the opposite to an EQ that is then put before um, exiting your speakers. So you get a cleaner sound. It of course can't help you with reverb, but this place anyways doesn't really have a whole lot of reverb and also the new studio will be fully treated. This can help you to get like the last 5% and really cool. I will definitely, definitely use this. Okay, I just see it's also the one that has headphones. You can do the same for headphones to calibrate them and get a cleaner, more balanced, better to use for producing sound. That's really nice. I really appreciate this. Okay, let's get to the next one that is a little bit bigger. Okay. I have to be honest, I already opened this one. I was just too curious. This right here is a backpack and I think it's the coolest backpack. Yeah, I've never seen something cooler than this. This looks right out of a Batman movie, like a stealth fighter. Opens up like this. You got enough space for your laptop and there are built-in speakers down here. So you turn this up. Bluetooth, take your phone, go to Spotify, search for John Sion, of course, then you hit never again, select the Bluetooth and hit play. That's cool, it's really cool. I don't know if you're able to see it in the very bottom are the speakers and they also charge up your phone. Cool, really cool. I especially, especially love the design. And there's a second one that has a different finish to it. It's fabric, the other one is like 
leather, probably fake leather. Now I just need like a bike to go along with this. Okay, let's get to the really, really big one. Oh, yeah, that thing <laughs> is huge. Okay, it says, do not open here. But it says, please open here. So let's maybe once follow the advice. Okay, there isn't even enough space to open this. Wow, this is so massive. I mean, guys, look at this. <laughs> That's one screen. I don't know if it's even in the shot. I mean, it's wow. Okay, okay, okay. Let me set this up and compare it to my old one that is already extremely wide, but this right here, ultra, ultra wide. And, and look how bent this actually is. Okay, guys. First time I, I kind of exercised in the studio, getting this monitor right there was difficult. It was difficult. It's huge. It's way, way, way too big, actually. But let's just fire it up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me just try and, and kind of show you with the camera what I see so that you get like a view how ridiculous this actually is. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can see. <laughs> I, I can see my speakers. I also can't really hear them, but I'm able to see an entire track from start to finish. I don't have to scroll anymore left to right and, and a bunch of tracks. I can see all of it. That's so crazy. It's really massive, massive, extremely massive. I mean, I'm now looking at one corner and now to the other. It's a long way, so I think this can be really tiresome if you have to move your eyes that much and your head just to see things. But it's cool, it's it's cool. I don't know, I will just have to test it for a week or maybe two and see if this will become my main monitor. I don't know, but I'm lucky that I'm not mixing anything today because I, I really can't hear my speakers anymore properly. Anyways, let's just get to work, test it out, see how it works and performs. And... That's really the first time I didn't have to scroll left to right working on a track. You can overlook three, four minutes of an entire song no scrolling, just up and down. And as amazing as it is, I don't really know if it's something for, for work and productivity. I see it more as a gaming device actually. But I will definitely test it for the next week or two and let you know how it feels working with it with my dog. Fun day, a fun day. Unboxing, getting new stuff, it's just amazing. It's not all, it's not the most important in the world, but it's still fun. I just I just love tech. I just love getting new stuff and, and figure out how it works and just enjoy it. And also having those new opportunities open up to me. So now works thing will open me up, better sound in my studio. The back, I, I just love the design. And the screen, I'm still not sure. It's it's amazing, but also a little bit too much, maybe. At least for that studio that I have at the moment. So with a bit of luck and two months, I will have that new big place and then we will see again if it might fit between the speakers, if I can put them um, with more distance to each other into the room. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and had fun unboxing with me. I will link down below all of the products. You can go check them out and see how much they cost and what they actually can do. That's really it for today. We will see us tomorrow back again in the studio and just yeah, making music as always. Yeah.